What's up, y'all? One and only E-Man here to talk today about smoke in Battlefield 3. I don't think a lot of people really understand the importance of smoke. Smoke actually has some benefits, and I don't think a lot of people use it. Um, I've recently started playing Battlefield 3 again um, after I bought Premium, and so I'm getting back into it, and I'm actually... One, I, I really wanted to talk about this. I really wanted to say like, hey, I like Smoke. I actually saw some really, really good gameplay with Smoke. And it's a few things that I've, you know, observed recently and I wanted to share with you. So, number one. The one thing that Smoke can do is actually kill your enemy in one hit. If you're actually within shotgun range, which effect, effectively, um, if you're using like the M320, it's actually a pretty good idea to try to get very, very close because the blast radius in order to kill somebody is extremely close. So you're talking about meters, maybe one or two meters. Um, so you want to really be close to your enemy. But if you actually line up your enemy, somebody's in front of you, you can very easily take someone out with smoke in addition to... <laughs> Hitting them with the direct impact, it also still uh, ignites and, and smoke will still happen. So it's actually pretty cool and and it's really fun when you actually kill somebody with a smoke grenade. It's, it's, it's very satisfying. <laughs> oh. Number two, it's extremely easy to flank. You will have a situation where the enemy is focused on the smoke. They're not focused on what's coming through the smoke. It's very hard to see. It's opaque. I remember smoke in Battlefield Bad Company 2 was not that great. They actually did fix it in Battlefield 3, and it's actually pretty good. It lasts for, I would say, anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds, based on where you actually impact the smoke grenade. Number three... It works extremely well with the infrared sight. It's not a lot of people that run the infrared sight. Um, if you want to run like assault and you want a really, really good attachment, what I would actually probably do sometimes is run smoke with the infrared sight and also I would run the bipod. Um, I used to run grip a lot, but uh, they have severely nerfed grip. But uh, that actually works out pretty well for me. And the cool thing about you being prone, uh, you're less noticeable. People normally are looking eye level, and it, that works out pretty well. Number four, it actually really annoys the enemy. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I'm sitting there. And I see smoke come up, and I'm like, crap, I'm not going to be able to see anything. I'm just trucking grenades. I don't have a lot of visibility, and the key to this game is visibility. Being able to see the enemy, being able to get accurate tar like accurate uh, hits on your enemy, and that's really uh, how you want to succeed in Battlefield. And again, it annoys them, and, and, it's, and it's fun, because anything that can take your enemy off of its game and make you, you know more like like have it, having an edge is, is fantastic five it makes it extremely hard to spot goes in alignment with number four but i found that when i'm actually without if i don't have a scope or something and i and i see smoke um if i don't have the infrared scope it's really really hard to see and that's going to be a problem because you're not going to be able to see the enemy. You, and you can try to spot people all day and it doesn't do anything. So I really do like smoke. And uh, with the fact that smoke just makes it harder to see, I, I think that's a, a win for you and your team. Because if the enemy can't spot you, you, you have an advantage. Top five tips um, for smoke is that you can get a one hit kill it's easier to flank it works well with your infrared sights think about pairing that up it annoys the enemy and anytime you can annoy the enemy is actually a win in my opinion five makes it hard to spot one and only man thanks for your time